Here's an example problem of something you will see on the mathematics computation portion of the TABE exam. For the mathematics computation portion of the TABE test, you will need to be able to work these problems without a calculator. You will be given scratch paper though. So let's see how to work this problem. 643 times 72. No matter the order it's written in, I would always put the number with more digits on top. Multiplication is commutative, which means you can multiply the numbers in any order. So by putting the bigger number on top, you'll have to do less work to get your answer. Now you start with the digit in the ones place, and you take this digit and multiply it times each number in your first number. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12. Now we're going to move over to the tens place. So that means first we need to put a zero in the ones place. Then we go and multiply the 7 times each digit in the first number, like we did with the 2. 7 times 3 is 21. Since our product is a two-digit number, we write the digit in the ones place, and then we carry the two above the four, because we're going to add it to that. Now we multiply seven times four, 28, and add the two to that product, 30. Again, we have a two-digit product, so we write down the digit in the ones place and carry the digit in the tens place. That's the 30. Seven times six is 42, plus the 3 is 45. So since we have nowhere to carry it, we actually just go ahead and write the 45. Finally, we need to add these two products together. 6 plus 0 is 6, 8 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 5 is 6, and we have nothing to add to the 4, so we bring it down. So it's 46,296 is our final product. So there's an example from, uh, or a practice question from the TABE test. Good luck. This is a question from the mathematics computation portion of the TABE practice test. For the mathematics computation section, you will not be allowed to use a calculator. So you need to be prepared to answer these questions just using a pencil and paper. So let's practice one of these TABE test problems. 3 and 1 ninth minus 1 and 1 fourth. In order to add or subtract fractions or mixed numbers, you must have a common denominator. The least common denominator for 9 and 4 would be 36. If you're unsure of how to find that, you simply list the multiples of each denominator. For example, 9 and 4, the multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, etc. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, etc. So as you can see, the least common multiple for 9 and 4 is 36. That's the smallest number that they have in common. Now, we'll rewrite this problem using those least common denominators. So your whole numbers don't change, but your denominators do. Then you have to think about what you had to do to each denominator to change it into the new denominator. So for 9, we had to multiply that times 4 to get 36. So because math is fair, we do the same thing to our numerator. Multiply the 1 times 4 as well. So 1 ninth is equivalent to 4 36. Then we do the same thing with our other fraction. 4 times 9 is 36, so we multiply the numerator times 9 as well. 9 36. 9 36 is equivalent to 1 fourth. Now, before you subtract, you want to look at your numerators and ask yourself, can I subtract 4 minus 9? Well, you could, but you would get a negative number. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow. 
We're going to borrow from the 3. So we're taking 1 whole away from the 3. Now it's a 2. And that 1 whole is 36 36 because that's 1 whole. So we take that 36 36 and add it to the 4 36 we already have. So now that means we have 40 36. So there's that one hole in there. This is over one hole, plus it's that 4 36 minus 1 and 9 36. Now we can subtract. Start with your whole numbers. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then subtract your numerators. 40 minus 9 is 31, 36. You always want to check with fractions to see if you can simplify them. But 31 is a prime number, so we can't divide it by anything other than 1 or itself. So that's our answer, 1 and 31, 36. That's the type of question you'll see on the mathematics computation portion of the TABE exam. So good luck. The TABE exam is split into two different math sections. This is the type of problem you'll see on the mathematics computation portion. On the mathematics computation portion of the TABE test, you will not be given a calculator, and you won't be able to use a calculator. So you need to be prepared to solve these types of problems just using a pencil and scratch paper. Let's dive in. 1 8 divided by 4 fifths. So here's the interesting thing about fractions. You can't actually divide them. So we do what's called copy, change, flip. Or we multiply by the reciprocal. So we start with our 1 8. That's the copy part. You just copy the first fraction. We change division into multiplication. And then we flip the last fraction, or write the reciprocal. So that's why you'll hear people saying, multiply by the reciprocal. That's what we're doing. We're taking our fraction, our first fraction, and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. At this point, you can look to see if there's any cross-canceling you can do to simplify before you multiply. The 5 and the 8 have nothing in common that we can cross-cancel. They have no factors that they, in common that we can divide by. And neither do 1 and 4. So now we simply multiply straight across. Numerator times numerator, 1 times 5, 5. And denominator times denominator, 8 times 4, 32. So it's 5 30 seconds, which would be A in this case. So that's the type of question you'll see on the TABE test. This is a TABE practice question from a TABE practice test. Good luck. This is a question from the mathematics computation portion of the TABE practice test. On the mathematics computation portion of the TABE exam, you will not be given a calculator and you won't be able to use a calculator. So make sure you're prepared to answer these types of questions simply using a pencil and paper. Let's look at it. Find n for the following. n divided by 5 is equal to 12 twentieths. This is a proportion. A proportion is simply a ratio that's set equal to another ratio. There are lots of ways to solve proportions. But one way that always works is using the cross products. We're doing cross multiplication. So that's how I'm going to solve this. We multiply n times 20, which is 20n, and that's equal to 5 times 12, which is 60. So hopefully you see why it's called cross multiplication or using cross products because you see what we've done is multiplied across. Now we solve this equation by undoing what's being done to our variable. That means dividing both sides by 20. So n is equal to 3. That's one method for solving proportions, and it always works, like I said. But sometimes it's easier to see the answer just by looking for a pattern in your numbers. 
So for example, you, to get 5, you would just take 20 and divide it by 4. Do the same thing to your numerator. 12 divided by 4 is n. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So you see you get the same answer, but it takes a little less work. Again, that doesn't always work, but you may want to try it first to save a little time when you're taking your tape test. So there's our answer, 3. Good luck! This is a question from the TABE practice test in the mathematics computation section. On the TABE exam, on the mathematics computation section, you will not be able to use a calculator. So you have to be prepared to answer these types of questions on the TABE test with simply a pencil and paper. Let's get to work. 3 by plus 6 equals 30. I'm going to start by rewriting it so I have a little room. With this type of algebra problem, it is just your basic algebra problem. You want to start with undoing the addition or subtraction that's being done to your variable. So your focus is all on the left side of the equation because that's where your variable is. You're trying to isolate your variable, which means get rid of everything else. Get rid of all other numbers. The two operations that are being done to your variable are it's being multiplied by 3 and we're adding 6 to it. You could start by dividing the entire equation by 3. That would be fine. Sometimes though, that makes your numbers more complicated. Here it wouldn't since all of these numbers are multiples of 3. But again, that could sometimes complicate it. So the best idea is to start by undoing this adding 6 by subtracting 6. To keep this equation equal on both sides, we have to do the same thing to both sides. So since we subtracted 6 from the left, we subtract 6 from the right. Plus 6 minus 6 is 0. Those cancel each other out. And we're left with just 3y on the left side. We bring down the equal sign, and 30 minus 6 is 24. Now we just have 3 times y is equal to 24. So we undo multiplying y by 3 by dividing both sides of our equation by 3. So y is equal to 8. That'd be answer B. So there you have an example problem from the TABE practice test on the mathematics computation section. Good luck!